Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play Project Ozone 2 uh, for Minecraft of course and uh, I'm quite excited for this. Uh, we're going to tell you why we're playing this, what's changed, things like that. So I've taken a break from playing GT New Horizon and uh, the reason we're doing that isn't because I hate GT New Horizon or we haven't, you know, like that's, we're not taking down the server. We're going to still maintain it, run it. Uh, we're going to be on the official server list soon. Uh, that's a big deal to us. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. We uh, are going to keep putting lots of effort into it. So we're not, we're not vanishing. We're not quitting. We're not disappearing from that. Don't have to worry about that at all. Um, it's just that it doesn't make a good Let's Play series because I spend 12 hours and then make one episode. 12 hours, one episode. I'm not getting... Oh my, this is not so pretty. Uh, I'm not getting as much done as I want. So... Um yeah, so this server anyways, we've decided, Electro and I have decided it's going to be a private server. Uh, originally, it was just going to be for him and I, and him and I only. We kind of are going that way, but we've made it that you guys can play, but you have to donate $10 to connect. That's that's final. It's not about having VIP or anything like that. If you want to play, it's $10. We're not going to be moderating, babysitting, fixing issues, things like that. It's literally for him and I to play our Skyblocks. But if you want to uh, do your thing, you can come on and do that. Uh, yeah, so here's Electra reading the signs. He's doing some bad stuff. Oh, you know what I'll do? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I didn't think it would work. I did. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So on this server, it's hardcore death. It is a skyblock map. Uh, we're using Garden of Glass, and uh, we've uh, made it so when you come here, there's a command block underground. You won't be able to see it. But basically, uh, well, maybe we can... Oh, crap. I didn't even think I could break that, but apparently I can. I don't even think I have... Uh, eh, whatever, we'll fix that later. You're not supposed to be able to break that, but I think I know why. It's because the clean... I don't really know why. Anyways, um, underground here, as you can see, there's a command block. And basically, when we hit this, this takes us wherever. So uh, it tells you you start with three lives. And then... Um, you can use spawn to get back. You can use uh, set home. No, there is no set home electro. Uh, when you use your bed, it sets home. So, uh, whatever. And first tree is an abomination tree. Poor electro. So, there we go. We just go here. Oh, well, look at that. Forgot to make us mod slash admin. We can be blue. Um, let's turn down the sound volume here just a wee bit. There you go. So, uh, you, you start on your own island. Everyone gets an island. You get water. The water will slowly go down. And, uh, you get some roots and things like that. And then, uh, you start with tr two trees. Not bad. And then, you start twerking. Legitimately twerk. So, if you've never twerked before, you just spam your shift button a whole bunch of times. I wonder if my right shift works. Eh, whatever. And then, what you can do is... Damn. I think it's that light source. Uh, so what you do is you hold your tilde key and it grabs it all automatically. And um, you just do it again. I think this actually causes uh, the ugly trees to spawn. I think that's kind of like the purpose of it but with our ability to use the uh, vein miner, uh, which is the key beside your one key, the tilde key, uh, it lets us do that. But also the chance of this happening is a lot less, so that's that's something you have to deal with. So watch this. Yeah. But it spawns inside of you as well, so that could be a problem, but that's fine. So yeah, the uh, big part of Project Ozone and a lot of uh, skyblocks are actually the ability to... Um, Go ahead and boom. There you go. Uh, the ability to... Uh, well, that's a nicer, taller one. To uh, usually take a lot of blocks at once. 
that's you know usually the case anyways so uh one of the other things is uh oh good we can make lots of planks so i'm gonna go ahead and do this i know there's more that we're supposed to do but screw this i'm more paranoid about safety than anything so for me it's more about let's just make sure i'm not gonna die right away or fall off because it is hardcore mode so there you go and uh, we can place a torch down now f7 i think yeah I'll tell you how far it goes. It should go decently far. Let's not, you know, purposely go stupid with it, but we should be able to go one more layer. Uh, I don't want to go too far because I don't want mobs spawning, but at the same time, I don't want to... Um, oh, here we go. I was like, what the... I don't want to be too close because then we lose things like apples or saplings or other things too that will help us. Oh, looks like the one corner is not quite making it. The center here would be the best, so maybe we'll just move this. It's not a big deal. There you go. We can do something like this, too. Here we go. There you go. So you can do something like that. Now, of course, mobs would spawn even more because of... Uh... There you go. Oh, it does all of them, too. That's actually really nice. Um, of course, mobs would spawn... Uh, I guess you can just go like this if you really want to go crazy. There you go. Never thought of this. Uh, mobs would spawn, of course, at that point when it's dark. But mobs spawn, I think, 32 or 24 or something. 24 vanilla from you. So I don't think we would have actually gotten two owned, but whatever. Okay, so let's stop screwing around here. I, I just like doing this for the first bit. And let's see what we have here. So um, we have a book. Uh, you got this. So this is just a book that you can put down or do something later. It's Tinkers. Uh, there's a quest book. There's a Britannia book here. So for Britannia stuff, because we're doing Garden of Glass, I guess that's kind of one of the ones you start with. You do start with 16 apples um, and a diamond. Go figure. And a quest book. Now, the quest book you don't really need. You can set a buying key if you lose it over time. And uh, I have it for L, and then I put backslash on everything. If you wonder why I use backslash and not hit escape and just do none, uh, when I use my volume control, oddly enough, it screws up and starts using the ones that say none sometimes. Ye don't ask. Uh, that's why I just put them on a random key I won't use. So uh, here's the quest book. And this is what it looks like. So I guess we start in alpha. Um, it, it's kind of funny when you're in this because... If you didn't select alpha, it would just show alpha as like a button you can click. And it's just, yeah, it doesn't show that you're in alpha. It's kind of weird, but, you know, you're in it because it says here. So we got the diamond. Uh, you got a water and a chance cube and a loot chest. Oh, nice. So uh, we'll go ahead and pick a loot chest. Now, I'm not going to go and use the chance cube for dangerous reasons, but uh, I will go ahead and uh, use this and see what we get here. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no thanks. Uh, yeah, not going to happen. Uh, I don't even know what to say for that one. Yeah, not happening. That's all I can tell you. So uh, let's open this up again. Oh, there you go. You saw it wasn't highlighted. And so it would like some wood. So once uh, wood, planks, uh, a crook and some saplings so that's fine that's basically everything here we've gotten these are easy to make um and the crook is easy too if you click these i think oh no it doesn't bring it up okay we'll just type in crook anyways here and uh crook is just some sticks okay so let's go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table and uh might go ahead and just replace the ground here for it for now i'd put it right on the edge but oh look at that oh we lost it anyways uh, I don't want to take the chance. Now, some people, what they'll do is half slab this, by the way, uh, for protection. But, eh, I probably won't. Maybe I'll do it later. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get some of these crooks made. So these crooks, I think, will get you silkworms, which are important to use over time. So, uh, And then we can go ahead and... Uh, there we go. Just go to town, I guess, really. Okay, so uh, do the same idea. Yeah, yeah, there you go. They don't get much uses out of them, so just one at a time kind of thing. There you go. Now, you want to make sure you don't 
do this accidentally in a bad way. Like if I did this on the platform, it might get me killed, right? So uh, here we go. And I guess we finish this one off. There you go. And crook again. And oh, you get a lot more leaf uh, sapling chance, I guess, from that. Plus, they don't blow up everywhere. Like before, they would all fall on the ground. I guess this one will just put them right in my inventory. So that's that's a big deal, right? There you go. And then put another one in my inventory. There you go. Oh, and we got little silkworms, which we'll need eventually. That's, I, I believe, to actually give you things like silk, which I think then the silk you gives you string or whatever over time. And then, with of course, with string, I mean, what do you do with string normally? You get uh, uh, string. You can use that usually to make wool, I believe, over time. So things like your bed and stuff will be quite a, an important play, of course. Okay, let's see what we have here. Um, so we should have lots of oak. Probably have planks. We got the crook, and then yeah. So we have everything except we probably don't have enough of these right now. There you go. Oh, there you go. Detected, and then oak barrels. So oddly enough, you can't click this. I don't know if this is an update bug or something else, but uh, oak barrels. Uh, these are easy. There you go. Just slab. So I assume slabs are, are, yeah, the same. And then there you go. And now you use this for compost, if I recall. So it's kind of cool. So uh, I guess we can do it wherever. So there you go. And uh, I believe you can take things like this and put in compost. But let's check the quest before we continue. Uh, so, oh, look at this. You get that and another loot chest, huh? So let's see what our new loot chest gives us. Hopefully not like a million of something. Invisible bedrock. Huh. I don't know what that is, but okay. I just posted it here for him to see over time. Invisible bedrock. That's a that's an interesting one. Huh. Cool. Uh, and then, yeah, so we can probably put these in here, but let's see what it asks. Probably wants dirt for the next one is my assumption. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about this. You get cobblestone. So uh, if you didn't know, getting cobblestone, completely forgot about that. <laughs> oh yeah, and you can't have anything in your inventory. There you go. There you go. And you can right click faster. You can set a bind key, whatever, if you really want to. Um, but uh, there you go. And it stacks. So if you do this fast enough, it won't pick up till you get like an entire stack of it. Though I have some of my inventory, so I'm not sure. Yeah, it'll go into that one and then the rest there. So it'll just give me 21 every time. But the, the first one will be 64 next. Okay, so, uh, it wants 64 cobblestone. Wow, okay, that's a lot. Um, actually, that's so bad. I wasn't sure if it was four or not, so I think I've played a pack before where it might have been, um, you have to shift right click, by the way. Uh, I think I played a pack before where it wasn't so kind, but looks like we're actually doing okay here, so. And I like following the books. I like, uh, you know, like it has 500 plus quests. So I kind of like that. I always enjoy these quest books a lot more now. So it'll be interesting to see how things go over time. But like I said before, it is a private server. It wasn't meant for anyone. But if somebody really, really, really wants to go on, uh, you can check the link in the description. But uh, you go to our little store and you can pay uh, $10. And it'll automatically whitelist you and all that. But, uh, and I, I don't mind having people on here, but the same sense is it's not to babysit. We weren't wanting, you know, 20 people on here and then there's lag and stuff. Because you kind of automate in these packs really, really soon. So it's, you don't, you don't automate the first, you know, uh, five minutes, but you kind of automate the first 10 minutes in a sense. Not quite, but, uh, 
you guys who've played these packs know exactly what I mean and why I would do it. And, uh, yeah. So there you go. So we got a half a heart and a ch chance cube and another loot thingy ma bopper. Why can't I? Oh, there's a second part to it. Oh, a furnace. It's like, why can't I do that? There you go. See if the crafting table was further out, might have been a bad idea. Uh, claim. There you go. Uh, did we get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. Uh, what? Electro's gonna think I'm hacking now. Oh, I can't do it because I, uh, whatever. That's weird. We'll save that for now. It looks like you can give it more cobblestone and it'll give you RF power or something. So that is, uh, I have to say that is a very, very, very interesting block. I don't think I've ever gotten something like that, but, uh, hell, cool anyways. Um, okay, so quests. Uh, we've done that. Uh, efficiency, blub, what? I don't think we're going to do that. Mob farm, do that in the near future. I might even do that a bit off camera over time. Uh, traveler's gloves, oh cool. Um, wait, I have to make traveler's gloves? Trav travelers. Two L's? Isn't traveler one? Oh, I don't know. Leather, okay. So we're going to have to figure out how to get leather over time. Mushroom hide, that's cool. Cow essence. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, some stuff that we'll have to learn over time, that's for sure. Uh, let's see here. Sivan, Sivan, Shivan, Sivan. This one's not too hard. Oh, though, it didn't tell you how to do the... I'm a little surprised by this. It didn't tell you how to get the string. The string isn't hard to get, uh, as far as I remember. But I'm surprised they didn't say anything about it. So let's start on that, I guess. Let's get both of them up and running here. Okay, and then we'll just put these worms on here. We'll just do something like this. That way it goes a little quicker. Now, they'll take a while to do, though. They're not... Oh, actually, a lot... Oh, no, no, they will. 11, 12%. Yeah, so they'll take some time, unfortunately. Like, there's not much we can do about that. That's just how uh, it works. Um, we do have a furnace now, so this is actually kind of good news because what we could do for now is we can do this. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 don't do that. That'd be bad. Uh, these are the best, right? Because the burn time for these are 300 seconds. Yeah, yeah, And then you get 400. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm just not used to having it so easy. <laughs> I played so many mod packs recently where you're not usually given something that good. So we'll put it here and this in here. And this will give us charcoal, and I'm assuming we can make more torches just like that. So that way we're protected. And then I'll just keep expanding the base platform over time. So there you go, charcoal. And that right off the bat gives us some torches. There you go, four torches. Just like that. And then uh, kind of made it so we can put them on the corners, and then we can work our... Ooh, well, not quite all of them, but... We can slowly work our way out. There you go. And then, uh, if you didn't know this one, what you can do with this is you can throw these all in here. When it gets to 100%, it'll compost. And that'll give you dirt. And you can put a few things in there to make that same compost. So, um, I guess there's wood ash or something or wood pulp or something you can put in there as well. Things like that. Uh, these They spawn, uh, like, so this is, oh, I guess it does it before then. Okay, uh, so 100%. So this is 100% infested, but uh, it kind of spreads exponentially. So over time, this should actually spread pretty decently. And that'll get us our string, which we'll need quite a bit for the sieve. And then from there, I'll start sieving. I might make the sieve off camera just because um, we'll see, right? Because I don't want to waste too much time, you know, waiting for you guys to see the sieve. And it's quite a, a expensive process. You start sieving things like dirt, uh, cobblestone, things like that, and uh, it takes a long time, and uh, we're going to be using a lot of resources, so I don't want to make it too painful, of course. 
Uh, let's get a couple chests going here. Um, there you go. And then we'll put this, I guess, here for now. So we can start putting stuff in here. The books, I guess, can go on there. Put the crocs in there for now. Chance cube is definitely going there. Chance cube, those both, uh, those explode, or at least I think they can explode. I'm not taking my chances. Let's put it this way. This thing is kind of cool, actually. Um, I probably can't pick it and pick it up again, so I'll leave it there. The flob, floor, whatever, that's used for um, just placing water somewhere, so I might need that extra water source later on, so I'll keep it for now. Uh, keep the wood on me. Uh, the apples... We can put them in there. Uh, oh, you know what I could do? Probably could make smooth stone, right? Um, let's type in juice. I'll show you a good way to get some early game stuff here. So you can have juices in here. So uh, there's an apple juice, I believe, here. Well, apple juice would be greenish, right, probably? Actually, no. There you go. Here it is, juicer. There you go. So it's just smooth stone. Uh, so what we can do here is we can swap this out. And if you didn't know that, you could swap them halfway as long as there's nothing in the output. And it'll continue without losing it. So if you've never known that, well, there you go. Now you do. I'd say the juicer is really good because you get better food out of it. So uh, I believe they have that mod on here where you can see food value. So this gives me two food. The juicer itself will give me two and a half. So it's not incredibly a, a leap and bounds in a sense, but it's a lot more, you know, a bit more over time. So it adds up, of course. So that's kind of one reason. I think it has actually a lot of saturation. Oh, yeah, look at the saturation, though. That's a ridiculous amount. So, you know, you know what? That's actually pretty powerful. So I think you need two of these for a pressure plate. And then there you go. There's the juicer. And then we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six for now. There you go. So if we drink this now, um, a little early, but whatever. You can see the saturation. Actually, yeah, let's not drink it yet, but look at this. So the apple will give me this saturation. This will give me this saturation. And if you don't know saturation, it's basically your over food bar. So uh, you got, I guess in a sense, your food bar is 10 food chunk, little points, but I think usually they count them as 20 in total. So half uh, of one is called one point, right? Uh, so I guess in a sense you have 40 points in total uh, for the saturation. So that's that's kind of handy. That's pretty pretty powerful. Uh, here's my first piece of dirt. Um, of course we've gotten dirt here anyways, but uh, that's a method of getting dirt anyways. Um, let's see here. How's this going? Oh, not bad. It's getting there. I wouldn't do it early. It's kind of a waste, right? So. So it looks like we're pretty much having to wait on that. Yeah. Oh, we couldn't even do this one yet anyways. Require something else tells you blubber i don't know which one's blubber blubber tub oh there you go i guess we have to work our way there's tinkers but if it's not red basically you can't work on it ahead of time now they may have changed something with this mod in particular i don't i've used an older version of this but before you couldn't do something ahead of time because then you'd have to do it again sort of idea and uh, you'd lose out so i'm not sure if that's really the case anymore but it was the case before um, so you kind of just don't jump ahead too much unless you want to, but, uh, you normally don't. Oh, wow. Look at all this stuff. Wow. I'll have to figure out that later on. Looks like they kind of go leaping quite far there. Uh, oh yeah, this tree, it's, it's going pretty good though. You could always do it individually too, right? You don't have to uh, take out the entire tree. There you go, so string. And I think you'll get a chance of more silkworms as well. So you don't like lose out all the silkworms. Yeah, I just got one out of there, so. Kinda don't wanna lose. Let's see here. I don't want to take a chance and lose anything off the edge anyways. Um, and now we have torches. Might take my chance to... I get worried that, you know, this will be the day I do something stupid and fall off the edge. Which will happen eventually. Accidents do happen. You can actually retrieve your stuff when we were testing. Uh, we found that if you fall off the edge, um, you can actually get back up. But... 
but 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 big but there um when it does happen uh it goes right to the bottom so it'll be at like one above the void so you have water that goes down there but uh at this point you'd have to build something down there actually it has a piece of actually it does have a piece of dirt on it so if you fall close enough to your water so if you're smart and stay right where your water is you could probably probably fall your water down and then build off of where it happened but just letting you know now it'll be a mess so early game if you fall down there you put probably nothing on there anyways to retrieve and be worth it but uh just want to let you know it will give you a bit of a headache oh i'm nervous when i do this part i'm holding shift but i worry like my pinky will fall off shift or something bad will happen or the game will lag or i don't know what will happen i just always get worried you know being a bit of a wordy cat there you go and f7 again oh f7 is already on huh really those reach that far huh i didn't expect them to reach that far but i guess they do f7 oh yeah Not bad at all. Okay, my FPS is actually a lot higher than that. Um, well, actually, because I'm recording, it won't be so much, but I've been limiting it. But uh, you get the idea, 700 FPS. So, yeah. It felt like there was no need for 700 FPS, so I've been limiting it, sort of. Um, so that's why. Oddly enough, it doesn't limit it the same way as you think it should limit it go minecraft but that's how it does it okay so now that we've done this uh let's go ahead i think it's actually the point where you just go like this screw it we got enough worms anyways to redo this and i think we have enough string oh frig way more than uh, i thought we would have needed in string um sieve oh look at that spelt it right uh here we go so we go like this so one two probably only need one right now because you can't automate these not at this level as far as i know so there you go there you go so we got our sieve and uh compact giant cube get one of these guys there we go we'll do what we always do and stop everything we're doing to open this up uh ooh, void void pipe void fluid eh, it's kind of uh i don't know i feel like this is i feel like that's for him because he likes the void pipes and stuff he's always like talking about voiding things so that's why i'm like that's your loot uh so we got dirt we need you got rubber sapling i assume rubber sapling is gotten from something sieve and dirt can give you different types of seeds you can you may find useful okay that's why so that's this sh sieving the dirt and then you have the lava gen and also there will be cobblestone so if we place this down um you can start uh you can't put that in there but you can start trying some stuff so cobblestone actually cobblestone can't go in there cool so i guess you can only do dirt in this one so there you go there you go so stone it, it was crappy it wasn't worthwhile right but you will eventually get better things it won't be always you know that and uh of course there's other things that you can fill up in this uh some kind of wood uh pulp i think pulp i don't know exactly i might be wrong but i think there's other things you can make uh to put in there but i'll figure it out over time actually it might even tell us uh Craft sieve hammer down, compressed cobblestone, all the way. Oh, yeah, that's right. So you hammer it down. It's not even telling us to make the hammer, so that's why I'm not used to it. So hammer. Uh, it's a normal hammer. Uh, you want this mod, X Nilo or whatever. X something. There you go. X. There you go. So there's one hammer. That's the flux infused. Ah, here we go. Stone hammer. There we go. So if we go here and there you go and make some of these hammers there you go and then you go like this now when you're doing this be smart and well it's up to you you can go all the way up to the top but because you got the uh, x nile or the um the hack machine here you can go like this right 
and you can just go like this and then do your uh, the vein miner boom and there you go you got the dust now you can take the dust you could probably put gravel in there i think yes so all the different dust will provide different things so gravel will provide you one type of thing um, the next one after that sand will provide you something else and then there will be dust itself which will provide you something else again my inventory is already full to give you an idea so pretty crazy so I'll just keep doing this with dirt dust etc um, I might actually be able to put dust in those or maybe with something else I'm not quite sure I'll have to figure it out I'll let you guys know next time or you guys can let me know oh there you go is that lapis cool There you go. So now uh, we can go here. There you go. So we've got coal, which is awesome. That's a good way of getting some coal. And you just put these materials in here. And then uh, you can combine them. And then basically, so if you put this here, you can combine them into this. And then you can smelt it. And it'll give you your copper. Or you could put them together, I believe. And work your way downwards or something. Because you can hammer the, the dust version of that. So you, you take this and hammer the gravel one. And then uh, you might get, I think, between four to five or six dust or something. Oh, here it is. This one shows the hammer. So you might get, uh, you know, this. There you go. So you get 100% chance of all four again for the crushed one or whatever. But then you get a 50% chance, a 5% chance, and then a 0% chance. But there's a luck bonus. I'm not sure all that. But either way, uh, you get a, another chance of getting those. And then so you can work your way down. But uh Either way, now I'm going to just probably spend the next like hour or two doing just what you see here over and over, getting materials and stuff, and then uh, going from there again and uh, coming back. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time.